Oh, it's 18, actually, right? Uh, oh, it is. Yeah, the... Oh, we're live now and discussing this. Uh, I believe <laughs> it's hour 18. <laughs> <laughs> we don't even know it's hour 18 <laughs> welcome to hour 18 of 24 terrible hours an entire day with that's, the that's F a great plus. Line. uh i am your uh your uh, remaining uh full-time host boots rain gear Sur surviving host yeah <laughs> 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 um, with me are a bunch of people that are a little more rested that are uh, supporting me up through this. I've got, I don't know who I have. I have Achilles Heelys. Hey. <laughs> I've got Isfahan. I'm still here. I've got Jimmy Franks. Why, hello there. And uh, new to this, uh, I've got Adam Bozarth. <laughs> um, I did this for two hours yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> I was, yeah. was going to ask, do you remember when I did this for two hours? Yeah, I remember when you did I this. Uh, I, I, I'm surprised, actually, you remember doing this. because <laughs> Oh, I was, not, I was not that drunk. Okay. I oh, really? so drunk I wouldn't remember. I was drunk. Yeah. Um, and now, uh, uh, new to the art stream here, we've got uh, the Positronic. We've got <laughs> Yay! a little bit Yay. of stammering, but uh, still still going strong. Strongish. Um Aww. And at some point, I'm going to update the, uh, the the page to show what we're doing, but it's not letting me in. Uh, oh, we are sleepy boots. <laughs> we are moving on to document number eighteen. No, I think that's a boots body pillow. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, yeah, yeah, that's that's exactly what that was. I thought it was just a sleeping boots. <laughs> it can be both. Yeah, I I I feel like a, a boots body pillow would be very comfortable right now. <laughs> <laughs> um, so Positronics here. Who says hi? Um, and we Hi. also have a document uh, provided to us by a uh, user named Positronic, who oh, happens to be the same heard, one, heard of, I believe. Heard of that. Uh, <laughs> and this, we're doing Instructables, uh, which is like WikiHow, but called Instructables. A uh, site, okay. site that's kind of been around forever. Sold. Yeah. I think mm -hmm. I have an account on Instructables. Yeah. It's, uh, yeah, it's been around forever. So... <laughs> We're gonna we're gonna dive right into this, and uh, the very first thing in the document is uh, something near and dear to me. It's something I've been. Uh, oh, I should share the document with you guys. Mm -hmm. uh, it's something I've been striving towards uh, for a long time. I've uh, probably like almost forty years I've spent working on this one, <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. and uh, maybe this will help me finally accomplish my goal. Uh, Adam, uh, what am I trying to do? <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, the one that sticks out to me immediately is how to be a pastel goth. Well, <laughs> <laughs> but one one that Boots is even more qualified for. Yeah, yeah, that, that, I've been working on that one for a while, but maybe not as long as I've been working on the very first item in the document. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. The very first one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. You want me to ask you how to be Canadian? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Tell me how Boots. to be a Canadian. Let's see well, if you've I'll... learned. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I have been training. In this instructable, I will teach you how to become like a true Canadian. In this instrucatable. Yeah. <laughs> instrucatable, yeah. <laughs> instrucatable, yeah. And step number one. Don't be a tool and use manners. <laughs> like the... yeah, that's, that's the cadence of that sentence, yeah. Right, okay, I think I got that one down. <laughs> In order to become a lot of time a on this, huh, boots. In order to become a Canadian, you must not be an arse, and always say please, thank you, and sorry. <laughs> Step number two: please, learn you, to sorry. shovel please, snow. Thank you. Sorry, please. Thank you. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> it's not a verbal tick. It's just how to be Canadian. <laughs> uh, step two: learn to shovel snow. If you want to be a Canadian, you need to be able to shovel snow and a lot of it. Number Why does this three. feel like a stand-up routine? <laughs> a very bad stand-up routine. <laughs> Instruct cables. Uh, number three, use snow bank refrigeration. We have things we want to keep cold, and snow is cold. Learn oh, to following. store cold things in snow rather than a refrigerator or freezer. That's good. I'll just go out and... Mm. <laughs> yeah, keep, mm. keep your meat in the snow. Okay. I, that might be a problem with that. 
I'm, snow's cold. So. Okay, yeah, snow's I cold. I thought you were a Canadian. Right, you're, snow's you're probably... cold. I just, I'm uh, having a hard time finding any. <laughs> <laughs> but Canada has snow all the time. That's what we're learning I here. I suppose you're right. Good point. Uh, step number four, and this is the final step. <laughs> there are many more things to learn. <laughs> <laughs> lazy how to be canadian be lazy as shit <laughs> like That's no right. coverage of I got that. how the government I got works. That down. <laughs> you only you have only been given the absolute basics on how to become canadian you must continue in your studies if you wish to truly become <laughs> like a canadian you must apologize to 100 people before you're ready to become canadian <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Mm -hmm. I, also why is there a crayon drawing of Restrained books. That's learning. That's the clip art oh. for learning thing. Okay. Yeah, naturally. Clip art for learning. So, so like Canada guy sat down and says, "Okay, what's the deal with Canada? Um, there, there's polite people in it, and there's lots of snow. So that's how you become Canadian." And two you know, steps up, are snow. We should do an instructable about how to be Canadian. It'd be so funny. <laughs> please, please. Yeah, that's please what it really feels like. Yeah. And use manners. The, <laughs> the best part of that was your alternative yet correct uh, reading of "Don't be a tool and use manners." <laughs> That's what it's Don't about. be a tool, comma, and use manners. It's the same clause. Yeah. Uh, uh, Achilles, Achilles. Uh huh. I got a. I, I need some help. Okay, I'm, I'm. I'm willing willing to help. I've always wanted to become a true otaku. <laughs> oh. <laughs> but I've never known how. <laughs> Nothing about a pastel coffee. <laughs> well, I, I, I... <laughs> just hold your horses. Adam, Bo Adam Bozak is like rubbing his hands together. <laughs> that pastel goth one. <laughs> well, I, I feel like this voice has uh, gotten a lot of use, but uh, um, can't imagine how, how, how to become a true otaku. What is an otaku? Otaku is a Japanese term used to refer to people with obsessive interests, particularly anime, manga, and video games. <laughs> Every Japanese person only does that. Congratulations, you have completed your first steps towards being an otaku by being on the computer. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> now your journey will begin. I will most likely provide links, and since I'm a moocher, all the sites provided will most likely be free. Yeah, that's right. Mm, poor. Mm. Nobody cares. <laughs> step one. Some Japanese characters. No, what is step one named? Step one. Step one. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Important. That's always good to start at the beginning. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Give a general description of the step one toward becoming a true otaku. <laughs> what? <laughs> is to have your name written in Japanese. <laughs> Here's the link, Japanese translator. Input your name and choose your style. Save your image, print it out. <laughs> some, that's some Daft Punk lyrics. <laughs> make, make a stencil and spray paint it to your backpack. If you don't know how, click here. Attention bullies, beat up this person. <laughs> <laughs> now let's continue. Step two. Step step three, watch anime. I think this guy's a little confused as to how the site's formatting works. Uh, oh, sorry, I'm on my third set of boxers, and I'm a little, I'm, my oh, energy's a little low. Oh, no. I get all out of sorts when I'm on my final set of boxers for the day. <laughs> what happens late into the stream, hour 17 bleeds into hour 18. Yeah. <laughs> yes, watch anime. Perhaps the easiest thing here. Here's a list of my favorite anime enjoy. AnimeFuel.com Helsing, very bloody dubbed. After that, you may have to settle for subs. Fooly Another coolie. Daft Puck lyric. Yeah. <laughs> Fooly Cooly, very random, and series complete dubbed. Others also available on YouTube. Fave anime slash manga. Let's skip that list. <laughs> yeah, that's, yeah. A that's a lot okay. of... Lot of... Anime titles. 
yeah. a lot of uh, stuff, and then and many more. So find one you might like and watch most of them. Don't go over thirty episodes. So enjoy. Also, if you're not sure, look it up on Wikipedia. Usually, it tells you what it's about. But beware of spoilers. They will ruin it for you. Beware. Please support the authors, the animes, by buying the year anime if you like it. Update. <laughs> oh. I have found Breaking websites news. to watch your favorite anime for free. Uh, step three. Step three. Read <laughs> manga. <laughs> you may be able to read manga at any of these locations for free. And here's a short list of manga around some not for kids. Another shitty list. Please note that almost all animes are mangas too. I recommend viewing and reading both of them, as they can have similarities and great differences. On to the next step. Step four, step four. <laughs> now most of you out there have already done this. Play video games! <laughs> all games know. count, especially Japanese imported games not available in the US. Based on animes and mangas, almost all animes have at least a game or are based off PC games. On to the next step. Step five, step five. Memorize these rules of anime. <laughs> File... <laughs> File provided, this clarifies a lot of things while watching anime. On to step six. Then there's, oh, there's a download anime. that says anime.txt. <laughs> no, no. yeah. What not... are the rules of anime? <laughs> oh my god, there's so many rules of anime. There are 100... <laughs> Rules of anime that you must memorize. Wow. Um, am I doing all these steps? Uh, no. <laughs> okay, step 10, final step. <laughs> Yay. Now you are done. Now you can be the best otaku ever. But not without your otaku certificate file provided. Just write name, date, and sign. Frame it and hang it on the wall and stare at it. Ooh. Congratulations, official otaku. Also, then, step 11, more stuff an otaku does. Make a death note. <laughs> Make she headphones. Okay. Collect anime merchandise. Sure. Download unlicensed anime fan subs off torrent sites. Download licensed anime at your own risk. Listen to J-pop. Go to cosplay conventions. That is all. Have fun. <laughs> Great. Sounds fun. Great. Now yeah. we now we all know how to comprehensive how to do that and and be that, which is what we want. See, mm -hmm. the conceit behind otaku is like obsessively liking a thing, but this one is just go through the motions of obsessively liking a thing, and then you'll <laughs> be an otaku. <laughs> like it doesn't really work that way. <laughs> yeah. Read all ten of my steps and a hundred rules. Hey, uh, hey, Jimmy Franks. Yeah. Um. There's a, a certain kind of fashion style I, I, I think I might want. Oh, oh yeah? But I'm having a hard time deciding, so could you give me some back-to-school fashion tips? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Are you going to otaku school? <laughs> Maybe. All right. Hey, yeah, you've had your time, otaku school. guy. <laughs> hey, guys. <laughs> fall is here. Uh, the leaves are on the ground. You're hearing that school bell. That means it's time to head back to school. So here's some... Get noticed, get back to school fashion tips. Step one, 80s style. If you want to get noticed, you might as well wear something colorful. 80s works just perfectly. So uh, I consider a green peace shirt from Ransom Girl, blue skinny jeans from Vygos Amethyst Collection, rainbow shoes from Skechers, a white hot heart hoodie from, I don't know. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Get some purple skinny jeans and the uh, high top Converse Chuck Taylor All Stars. Do we wear the is not included? Do we wear the purple skinny jeans over the blue skinny jeans? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you're layering. You're gonna look like the Michelin Man because you're putting all of these clothes on that I'm about to. They have to be slightly about. less skinny jeans than the blue skinny <laughs> jeans, because <laughs> otherwise uh, it won't fit over. <laughs> yeah. So another way to get noticed is goth, black, no. gray, and other dark colors make you stand out in all the neutral colors. She looks so get goth in this photo. Get some black rocker sandals, some black tights, and some gray and black shirts. <laughs> or maybe you want to uh, dress as a preppy. Are you a person who wants to look smart but stylish? Preppy's just for you. It's a black ballet flats, a blue flower shirt, jean tights, a preppy belt. And uh, here's the image that uh, with a bunch of 
tips that I stole from somewhere else. Yeah, you just took a picture <laughs> of somebody else's list with yeah, a cell with phone. Your, with your cell phone. And... Uh, but here's some more tips to help you survive school. Step five, school bag blues. Instead of a boring school bag, use an oversized purse. Step six, <laughs> okay. decorate uh, your school supplies with singers or actors or even pictures of your crush. Smiley! You guys, you guys have to see the, the Justin Bieber pencil I just, case. I just, uh, just, just so you guys can see this, uh, this, is, uh, this is what goth looks like. <laughs> so, so in case you were wondering what goth is like, it is that. What's, what's the joke? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> you know what I see goths wearing a lot of sandals? <laughs> hey guys, step seven. This is really important. Locker combination. Keep your locker combination taped in a notebook or something. That way, if it gets lost, people can open your locker and put the <laughs> pencil box back. <laughs> mm -hmm. Step eight, white out. Keep some white out with you just in case. That is you know, fashion, fashion nine, reasons. These are yeah. fashion tips, and now it's just like, here's some school supplies. I think she's talking about cocaine. Um, oh. Step nine, post it notes. <laughs> It's always good to keep some post-it notes in your school box. How else will you write notes to your friends? Yes. I feel like we might be three... getting outside of the realm of fashion. <laughs> yeah. Well, also, instructable. Oh, I don't like think so. I don't think so. Did you just look at step 12, colored lock? Get a colored lock for your locker. It'll help you identify your locker easier. Jeez. Yeah, I think like yeah, I, this... I think Adam was trying locker to point fashion. out like, instructables are supposed to be like steps towards accomplishing a thing. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, it's it's like building cr like like yeah. uh, like gadgets and things like you know like this this is a thing that you can turn off any television or whatever you know it's like not for. But well, we're building a personality go... here, aren't we? <laughs> yeah. I guess that is very difficult to do. Yeah. <laughs> That's a goth <laughs> on the live stream. There she is. Oh, oh you're you're behind. <laughs> I am behind. I have a terrible connection. <laughs> um, uh, Achilles, Achilles Healies recommends we read this. Okay. Uh, uh, my, my name is Katar Amazing. Why would you put pictures <laughs> of your crush on you supplies? Isn't that too easy for them and a lot of people to know? That, and isn't that too easy for them and a lot of people don't know who their crush is before school when they are decorating the supplies? Yeah, you're putting nice. the cart before the horse here. Yeah, good good exactly. point. Yeah. Also, then people will know who your crush is. Got me dead to rights there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Checkmate. So, 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 so Adam. <laughs> yes. I, I know you're particularly fond of sort of like dark and moody uh, fashion statements. Yeah, 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 yeah. The goth, the goth. So, uh, so I'm going to tell you all about things. my steampunk makeover. <laughs> 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 okay. Please. Uh, yeah. Luke so, talks to your face. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so this is Instructables uh, slash ID slash Steam oh. hyphen makeover. Oh. This oh, makes oh, oh my sense. god. Wow. <laughs> okay. Wow. Oh. Um, that... <laughs> okay. That, sorry. I just got to take a minute to share this with everybody. <laughs> oh. Hey. Okay. So... Yeah. 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 There. Uh, oh, that's uh. This. Am I reading that right? Do we, yeah, twenty eight hundred bucks. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Twenty eight forty. We got a, we got a seventy five dollar uh, and seven oh uh, donation yeah. from Jarna Grank. Thank you, Jarna. It says Wu Tang for life for the children. Yeah. Yeah. Wu -Tang is for the children. Uh, so, so on the stream right now, what we have is a steampunk makeover. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear! Oh God! Um, oh little one! Oops, see, I, oh, God. I did not I uh, see. I said glue cogs to your face, and she just drew cogs on her face. <laughs> That's like she the joke that I made was pretty much what happened. The makeup, the makeup that she did makes her look like one of those androids from those Energizer commercials. <laughs> <laughs> it's too shiny. Um, okay, so I'm gonna tell you about my steam. I I cannot I cannot do this from the page. I have to do it from the dock. I cannot handle that. <laughs> yeah. Oh my! Oh, you scroll down, it just gets okay. Steampunk is a cross between Victorian era and things engineered around steam. Mm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Here's how to do a uh, steampunk makeover on yourself. Step one: accessories. Goggles are a must. 
I have aviator goggles, which are probably best. Also use metals in Victorian era type things. Mm-hmm. Yep. Step two, hair. You may want to remove any and all accessories for this. Brush your hair and put it in a Victorian era type hairstyle. Some good ideas are braids, pigtails, twists, buns, undoes, half ponytails. Uh, three, skin slash makeup prep. Apply any concealers or moisturizers that you would like to apply and put on foundation. Uh, you can also use chapstick. Nice I use foundation. CoverGirl 710 translucent light foundation. <laughs> Eyes. First apply bronze shadow and add a white light, sorry, a light white uh, or gold in the middle. You can blend it out a bit if you want. Add liner if you like, and you can do a wing if you want. Blush, but uh, brush it on the apples of your cheeks. Do cheeks have where, apples? Where did, the, where did the steampunk go? Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm wondering. We're getting there. We're getting there. Yeah, we're getting there. It never says gears. Any okay? Uh, I'm using an <laughs> ELF brush and bronzing brush. Lips apply red if you want. A gloss, if you want. Uh, special effects. There we go. Here it is. Passive aggressive uh, instructable. Yeah. <laughs> do it. Do whatever the fuck you want. Who am I? <laughs> whatever. Um, and then uh, this might as well be the only steps. Uh, special effects. Draw gears, bolts, or whatever you want. You can be creative with this, this part. Oh, we're not even like. Okay, we're not even applying gears. We're just drawing them. Yeah. <laughs> That's what's happening on her face. Okay. And uh, then step eight, one last layer of special effects. Add dust around the line of your goggles. Wow. Yeah, okay. Uh, and Lady Frenzy has donated uh, $35 with the comment, no comment. <laughs> Yay, Lady Frenzy. <laughs> hey, Lady Frenzy. Um, so Adam Bosarth. <laughs> what? Thanks, Lady uh, Frenzy. I know, like, you're, you're really into the idea of a very dark and deep and moody uh, particular type of uh, fashion. Why don't yeah. you tell us about how to be a pastel goth? I don't want to. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll do it. All Please. right. Yeah. <laughs> it's fine. We'll do it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so you want to be dressed like a pastel goth? Well, this is the right place for you, girl. <laughs> yeah. Girl. <laughs> if you don't know what it is, then I will tell you right now, pastel goth is creepy, mixed with cute things such as eyeballs and purple bat wings, black mixed with pink and purple, studded collars mixed with cat ears. Basically, it's goth mixed with pastel colors, but with a hint of grunge. And if you don't know what and grunge and goth is, well, that's a different how to. On with the lesson. Go to Wait, the next not- step. Now, okay. What? Go ahead. Sorry. Step one, accessories. I made sure you understood what goth really is, so no worries. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Just leaning right into my ear to say that. <laughs> You're good. All right. <laughs> accessories. This is the easiest. Studded collars, cross necklaces, rings or earrings, along with bracelets. 90s jewelry. Yes, from the 90s, it wasn't so bad back in the day. At least I assume because I was in diapers. (laughs) (laughs) Even the backpacks from back in the day with aliens on it works perfect. (laughs) (laughs) Chain necklaces and body harness with roses on it. Necklaces with stones on them. Jewelry with skulls or skull shapes. Eyeball bows, etc. You could just DIY a lot of this. Big <laughs> calls don't cry. Even anime inspired things are perfectly A minus. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> they can slightly be better, but they're still really good. <laughs> if you want more ideas, just look up Pastel Goth. Example for backpacks. There's a couple of exim- backpacks. And. For those who are into DIY, here's some helpful links. No links. Nope. Step two, hair. Now let's move on to the hair part. Most pastel goths had exactly pastel hair. Okay, maybe not, but it's not black, or it's got some <laughs> color to it. It can be any color, honestly, 
And you can dye it or wear wigs. Yes, wigs. It's perfect for not damaging your hair. Here's a great video, though, if you do not want to wear wigs or dye your hair. No video. <laughs> clothing. Now is the time for clothing, heart. <laughs> oh, now is the time for clothing. Now is the time for clothing. <laughs> so we're not, yeah. Up to now, you've been completely nude. <laughs> time we change that. You're nude in a wig. Nude with accessories. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> nude in a body so, harness from yeah, the 90s. Yeah, Weird ass jewelry and a Power Rangers backpack. Mm. This as well should be easy. You can go to thrift stores and DIY your clothing. You know, down below will be some helpful links for those who wish to make it their own. Wrong there, but other than that, there are also other sites that you can buy pastel goth clothing, such as Etsy, Amazon, eBay. Of course, store envy <laughs> and AliExpress. There are also some famous sites to buy from, such as Dolls Kill uh, and Black Milk Clothing. <laughs> 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 oh, of course, you can also buy a lot of these things from Hot Topic as well. Uh, oh, shit. Things yeah. to what? Things to look out for are leggings, platform shoes, and sneakers. Dressy kinds of shoes. <laughs> <laughs> Sweaters, dress shirts, <laughs> skirts. So wear and clothes. Dresses along. Yeah, clothes. Along, you know, well, along with coats and hoodies for winter and fall. <laughs> you can you can also look up the fashion yourself and see what else you can keep your eyes out for. There are many links for doing it yourself. Woo. Here are so oh, step four makeup. Here are some helpful things to to how to you do your makeup. It's goth. <laughs> but mixed with pastels. <laughs> Remember, <laughs> you can also look up goth makeup inspiration. Step five, additional links. This was a starter guide, but down below, I will post some other helpful links to help you get started into pastel goth. <laughs> but <laughs> remember, be yourself as always. <laughs> This fashion is not only for girls. Guys can dress in this too, as well as plus sizes. <laughs> men, women, men, fat people. <laughs> the, three, the three groups of people. The three, the three clothing yeah. body types. <laughs> so go out there and proudly show off. <laughs> and there's a wiki how for how to be a pastel dog. <laughs> yeah, and then just links um, to a wiki how. No. Now Boots has the wiki how DTs. He's like, no, oh, no nice. more. Yeah, no, no, I can't do it. I'm trying to trying to get off of that. <laughs> um, um, we're gonna we're gonna take a little bit of a flashback uh, to uh, something we did exactly twelve hours ago, if I remember correctly. <laughs> mm -hmm. okay. It feels like a week. Um. Also, <laughs> Positronics drawing of a golf bat yeah. is adorable. Yeah. That's all golf bat. It's <laughs> pretty badass. Um, so, uh, who wants to create a rap? Um, Jimmy Price wants I'll, to create a rap. I was, I was, yeah, in, I, was I was in the uh, in the room for the, the rapping uh, segment. So, yeah. okay, somebody else I do want it. to create a rap. I, I just, I didn't want to hog the opportunity from anybody else. Oh no, it's, it's, <laughs> I mean, it's, it, it is all yours and uh, you got to answer that call when it comes. Yeah, you know? well, and there's an ex <laughs> inexplicable hashtag in the title of yeah. the Instructable, so. <laughs> hey, how to create a rap, hashtag ferocious donuts. Well, oh, you're a juggalo. <laughs> hey dudes, my name shall be anonymous because I want it to be. Oh <laughs> shit. <laughs> Besides that, I'm here to show you simply how to create a rap. There are many great songs that are in this case, raps in this world. The artists who perform these raps are considered geniuses because of what they do. Well, most of them. Sorry, young thug. Wow. No, take that, young thug. So easy for someone to say that they can rap. But if you really look into this subject and do research, there's a whole process to it. <laughs> I have my own personal raps that I have written myself. <laughs> you it's do. an art that is so beautiful because it gives the artist an opportunity to express their true feelings in a symphony with oomph. 
Mm-hmm. You mean oomph? That's with how me I so far? Are you guys ready to get on this ra- rap railroad to success? Yes. Mm-hmm. I am All prepared right. to rap. Sure Check thing, Young out. Anonymous. The materials you will need for this activity include one, your brain. Oh, huh. shit. Two, a pencil or a pen. Three, paper. And four, access to YouTube on a computer, <laughs> a phone, etc. Oh. How do you get to YouTube? Oh, I have to tell people that. <laughs> Now, I consider this last material most important because it's what all songwriters need, and that is patience. Hmm. You thought I was talking about YouTube, didn't you? I really did. Yeah. Yeah. I thought you were talking about Guns N' Roses. (laughs) Step one, finding inspiration. This step is simply about what your song is going to be about. Obviously, in order to write a song, you have to know what you're writing about. Inspiration can be found anywhere. For example... In my last rap I created, it took me literally 30 seconds to think about something to write about. Wow. I must be some kind of genius. It never takes people that short of a time to think of anything. I used to stopwatch and everything. <laughs> Yo, one, two, three, I wrote about... it's a pencil eraser rap. <laughs> <laughs> what I wrote about was a small school group I was in. Now, I don't if that is just a gift for me, but for the most part, this should be easy for anyone. To find inspiration, you could just start writing thoughts that come to mind on a piece of paper and see which one is best to write about. Step two, finding a beat. This step is not that hard as well. Unlike the first step where you had to make stuff up in your head, you can can steal. (laughs) <laughs> yeah. you can exactly. easily <laughs> you can easily get a beat off of the internet yeah see just take somebody else's beat there you go beat it took me 30 the... seconds to steal somebody's beat yeah. <laughs> some people like to create their own beats themselves and that's even better and more for legal me, <laughs> for me I like to do remixes to popular rap songs how I do this is by going to YouTube and searching whatever song and then type instrumental after it, and then rap to it. <laughs> All of the songs that I've written are remixes from pretty popular songs. Since we're writing a rap, it would be best to search hip hop slash rap songs. Examples of hip hop rap songs include <laughs> Trap Queen by Fetty Wap, or another one like Lifestyle by Rich Gang. Like I said, if you can make your own beat, that's great. But if not, then this should be the next best thing to do for your rap. Step three, writing it down. This step is related to step one. The inspiration that you found is now going to be put down on paper. There's different ways to write rap songs. Most of the rap songs in this nation are famous because of the best type of poetry ever. (laughs) Rhyme. (laughs) (laughs) Okay, spaceman. (laughs) <laughs> a lot of artists are famous because of their rhyming abilities and it makes the rap sound better true it is about you and your own style but the high paying rap songs are mostly all rhyme high paying <laughs> high paying <laughs> I'm sorry. high yield rap songs welcome yeah, to the like... lucrative world of high paying rap songs <laughs> yeah it's, it's like uh metal purity <laughs> <laughs> of course with the more more rhymes in a rap song the higher the yield for the rapper <laughs> i use rhyme in my rap songs as well an example <laughs> well do you now well <laughs> i use words and give propers and everything yeah uh an example of rhyme would be running through the six with my woes counting money you know how it goes no yourself by drake <laughs> Now, there is an exception to rhyming, which is near rhyme. Near rhyme is saying one word, but then saying a word that doesn't exactly rhyme with it, but has the same sound. An example would be, I was trying to get it how I live. I want them dead presidents. I don't get tired by Kevin Gates. This type of rhyming is exceptional and quite common as well. So if you ever come to a situation where you have to use near rhyme, it's perfectly normal. Live presidents. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, huh. yeah uh, president. Okay. This step, uh, step four, the combination. This step isn't a lot, but it's most important. Now we have our rap written down and our music ready. 
it's time to combine them both together. What I recommend is first play your beat just to get comfortable with it. Then replay the beat and start <laughs> singing your rap along with the beat, making both your lyrics and the beat flow in the same paste. This is where patience comes in. Paste? paste at the <laughs> same paste. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, in the same paste. Wrap, wrap your paste. lyrics. Wrap your lyrics to the cut and paste. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, rappers and artists in general do not make a whole song in one day. It takes time to make everything that you've created come together. In order to be a good artist in the music industry, one of the most important principles you must have is patience, because that's the key to your song or rap being complete. Step five: share what you've done. <laughs> After all of these steps, you have finally finished your perfect rap. Now that you've got this wonderful self-made piece all done, if you are super proud of it, why not share it? Tell your family and friends what you created. <laughs> if you really want to get noticed for your rap, put it on the best site you could ever publish it on. YouTube! <laughs> <laughs> Who knows? You might even get a famous person to discover you and get a contract. When you get famous and make a lot of money, I'll be expecting my share, though. <laughs> uh, uh, I'm not kidding. Uh, uh. One last piece, smiley face. Thanks. Well, we all know how to rap now. Yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. yep. We're, all, we're all rapping cool. Um, <laughs> I think it's uh, arts and crafts time. And Achilles Heelys, you're going to uh, teach us how to make a baby dragon. Okay. So, uh, I, uh, I recommend staying in the dock. Uh, okay. <laughs> for this, I'm gonna. I'll reveal the end product uh, when you get it. Okay. To the end. I'm going to teach you how to make a baby dragon. <laughs> One day, I decided to make something, but I didn't know what. I looked at a rubber <laughs> lizard and I thought I could totally make a dragon out of that. Most of the work was done for you. <laughs> <laughs> That's right up my alley. Uh, step one, stuffs. You will need a plastic lizard, thin string, and foam. Step two, not a step. Random picture of Aaron the Beast. Enjoy this. Yeah, we needed I, a we needed a break from all this instruction to I don't. have a lighthearted moment. <laughs> this is as long as my attention lasts. Step three, wrapping the present. Before you do this step, you will need to cut and outline wings for your dragon on the foam. Now press the wings on the desired spot on the lizard. Next, wrap the string around the body so it looks somewhat like a saddle. Step four, completeness. Now you can take your dragon on small adventures. It can also be used for models or those little fake villages and castles people make. Also, leave comments. So, uh, uh, so here's what it looks like. <laughs> <laughs> no, really good. It's yeah. a lot of effort. <laughs> Wait, no, Boots. I think you put the wrong picture up. That looks like a pile of garbage. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here, let me. Uh, there it is. Oh, there's a delay. So yeah, okay. The, the, Got it. <laughs> I wanted to make something. I just want to destroy something that's beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> if poor Tax were here, she'd be flipping the table and. Just... <laughs> I want table. Yeah, you like, call that a dragon? At, like at yeah. some point, she's eventually going to get around to seeing this. <laughs> just, yeah. <laughs> just like steam's going to come out of her ears. Yeah. <laughs> Let's make one for her and give give it to her as a gift. <laughs> yeah. Um, we made a dragon oh, for so you. There's a, this is, uh, there's a section at the bottom of this that's called How to Food. Hmm? Oh. Um, and how to food. How to food. Yeah, Isfahan, can you tell us how to make a banana soda? <laughs> banana. Hola, okay. banana. Banana. <laughs> Hello. Today I will teach you how to make banana soda. <laughs> My friend and I love writing fan fictions. Sometimes we even write them together. So one day we wrote a very silly story called The Missing Pants. It starred Derpy Hooves and Rainbow Dash. Oh, fuck. I'm not going to type the whole story fuck. because it should be posted on fanfiction.net pretty soon. 
Wow. I'm Sky Productions on the website. I will say one quote, though. Oh. So Derpy called out to Rainbow Dash, Derp, I need a soda that is banana flavored. <laughs> it's, I, that's how I think that word's spelled. What a great Rainbow sense. Dash bowed and said, Yes, sir. And she set off to the kitchen. <laughs> In writing terms, that's known as a hook. <laughs> yeah. The moment we wrote that, we quickly realized banana soda needs to be a thing. <laughs> I know they do sell it, but it needs to be special. <laughs> you know, you, you, you really just... are on your way to being an internet uh, uh, chef because you've got the, you know, tedious, unrelated nonsense part down. So Yes, important to any uh, recipe that you'll find on the internet is the, the live journal entry that precedes it. Yeah. <laughs> And acting as though they came up with an idea they already admit exists. <laughs> <laughs> okay, step one. Hannah Banana Soda. If only there was a reference spelling for banana that I could look at <laughs> while writing up this guide. But there isn't. You will need a few unusual things for this bubbly beverage. Banana extract. <laughs> seltzer. Sugar. Liquid sugar is easier to use. And a cup. <laughs> Step one. Very so, unusual. Nope. Try, try and stay with me here. Step two. Pure banana. Pour a generous spoonful of the banana extract into the cup so it forms a thin layer on the bottom. Step three. Hey, sugar. Hi. Take your sugar or liquid sugar. And pour several tablespoons of sugar into the cup, then Girl. stir well. Wow, that's a lot of corn syrup. That's a lot. <laughs> that is a lot of corn syrup. That's a... Soon you will be vibrating and seeing through yeah. walls. <laughs> if there is anyone hesitant about that but sugar, remember, it's soda and has a bum load of sugar. Mm -hmm. Step so four. A, okay. Derpy bubbles. This step is easy because you just need to pour the seltzer into the cup without any measurements. When the liquids meet the top of the cup, stir it again. Step five, done. This drink probably smells strong a banana, but it's really, you don't know for sure, but it's really great. Enjoy your banana soda and check out my fan fictions every once in a while. No, thank my you. fan fictions appear to be more humorous than serious. So the characters I use will probably not act well. Normal. I really like the yeah. synergy you're going for here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. P.S. If you make the banana soda, have comments, questions, or suggestions, just write in the comments. That's how the site works. That's my suggestion. Don't drink this at all. Yeah. <laughs> That's wonderful. Uh, uh, guys want to hear my uh, amazing recipe for Cool Ranch Buffalo Wraps? Oh, my goodness. I, uh, yeah, because yeah, I, I was like, about ready to eat food, but now I don't think I'll need to. Yeah, I was, now uh, I saw the photo. I was, I was I off for breakfast to. during the Pinterest recipes episode, so I'm uh, craving some uh, some fine cuisine. That looks gross as shit. <laughs> <I don't know. laughs> That's... It looks like depression food. You know, what, you know what it looks like to me? You mean the Great Depression? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It kind of looks like poo-poo. It does, it does look like poo-poo. <laughs> um, so Cool Ranch Buffalo Wrap. Oh, it's just, I can't, okay, I can't scroll that image off the top of my screen. Yeah. That's the only way I'll be able to get through this. <laughs> I love chicken wings, but let's face it, they're not the most healthy choice for dinner. So in our search for a healthy chicken wing alternative, we, my wife and I, created our health chicken ring... Ooh. Health chicken wing wraps. Step one. Hmm. <laughs> so I like I like that, and do and putting this recipe onto Instructables, we have to then like <laughs> put the standard format of a recipe. We have to break up and put into steps. Anyway, mm -hmm. step one is gather your ingredients. Uh, two or three boneless, skinless chicken breasts cut into strips. One tablespoon of olive oil, salt and pepper. One romaine lettuce heart, washed and separated into individual leaves. Buffalo sauce. We used Frank's Red Hot Buffalo Wing Sauce. Low Fat Ranch. Mmm, low fat ranch. Okay. Yeah. Uh, get some. Get some of that fat ranch. Make it low. Fat ranch. <laughs> <laughs> There's no hyphen. 
Uh, I fat ranch. Blue cheese crumbles and then something crunchy. We use black bean crunchers in the ingredient pick above. That's what makes it look but like poo Anything will do. You know, maybe you find something that rolled under your sink. <laughs> oh, wait. I, I really should be... Uh, hold on a second. This is something very important. Making these? Somebody, somebody vamp for me. Uh, anybody want to vamp? Anybody? Anybody want to vamp? Twice. <laughs> yeah. Twice. Come on. Uh, just uh, just like to take this opportunity to thank everybody who's uh, tuned in to the uh, live stream tonight. Uh, uh, thank you to all of our fantastic artists that have uh, participated in the visual uh, part of the uh, program. Oh, now and, that I'm uh, seeing all this you... big, it's it's even worse. <laughs> Holy well, shit! And I, and I... Like the the. <laughs> The, 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 yeah. It looks like poo, but, it looks like poo and jizz. Yeah, yeah it's decorated. Yeah. It's it's poo, jizz, jizz on it, poo. There's decorated nothing about this poo. Feeling. This is the worst looking food I have ever seen. Yeah. yeah. It, yeah. Well, you know, like if you looked Holy at a shit, burrito Positronic. that was opened up, it would look gross too. They should have just kept it wrapped up. Yeah. Oh my god. Uh, like, well, I, got, I don't know. I got some lettuce. I'm gonna jizz on it, and then <laughs> yeah. I rolled it in some shit that, uh, that my cat uh, hid under the couch. I like how the premise for and this was it. like <laughs> the premise was that buffalo like fried wings are unhealthy, so let's let's use skinless chicken breast and cover them with seventeen different salts. Hey, hey, mm -hmm. it's low fat ranch, okay? Oh, uh, <laughs> uh, we're we're behind on something here. For the first like three hours of the stream, the bot wasn't working, so we, <laughs> we were just singing that. My favorite was the <laughs> dragon and Bob. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, and I'm and I'm I'm eighty dollars away from uh, a wonderful soylent breakfast. Yeah. You've got a oh, wow. you've got a coffee flavored silent that you're. Uh... Somebody wants it. It has breakfast. caffeine in it too. Oh, good. That'll help. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's just it's really... they really want to make sure that you're you go from zero to shitting in like <laughs> twenty seconds. Is it technically shitting if it's only silent? <laughs> silent in, uh, silent out. <laughs> it is a higher level of shitting, I think. But yeah. <laughs> Um, yeah, so uh, yeah, we're now at we're now at twenty nine hundred dollars in the donations. Uh, this is this is way above our expectations. So uh, you guys are That's awesome. Great. Yeah, it's great. Totally awesome. Oh, hey, uh, Bozarth, you are now seventy five dollars away from from what eating some garbage or not, Bozarth? I'm sorry, uh, uh, Achilles. Achilles. Huh? Uh, you said the, you were I'll eighty dollars away. I'll eat garbage yeah. for free. I, I did say that. Yeah. <laughs> and now you are seventy five dollars away. Oh, so I want you to eat that garbage. <laughs> oh, thanks, Jimmy. I, I'm glad. I'm glad you're looking out for me. All right, step number two: cook your chicken. <laughs> Get your 12-inch non-stick frying pan. Add chicken and olive oil to the pan and toss to coat. Salt and pepper to taste. Cook on medium high for six to eight minutes, or until chicken is almost done. Remember, chicken is suggested to have an internal temperature of 165 F, and juices run clear. Reduce heat to medium, add buffalo sauce to pan, toss chicken to coat, let it simmer. Stir chicken and blah, 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 blah. We're cooking the chicken. <laughs> Not a great way to do it, but okay. No, it isn't. <laughs> None of this is a great way to do anything. <laughs> yeah. Like, st step one is you've made a terrible idea, and then, it's like, all these steps are just continuing on this terrible path. S step two, no turning back now. <laughs> oh, if you aren't comfortable with cooking raw chicken, you can use pre-cooked chicken strips and add the buffalo sauce as soon as you put the pre-cooked strips in the pan. Great. Uh, step three, assemble your wraps. Technically, they're more like lettuce tacos or boats. Add chicken to lettuce, <laughs> sprinkle on blue cheese or cheese of choice. What the fuck? Cheese of choice. <laughs> no, it's it's gotta be cheese. It's gonna be Velveeta. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, top with ranch or dressing of choice. Sprinkle with your something crunchy. You know, <laughs> your little something crunchy. Mm -hmm. uh, and then the final step of this is to enjoy. 
Experiment with it. It could be teriyaki chicken with mushrooms. Uh, I'm or stuck sur- on that step. <laughs> a sriracha or ginger dressing. Fuck it. Or or chicken nuggets. Yeah. It's gonna be chicken nuggets. Yeah. Okay. Uh, hey guys, what do you think we learned this hour? I'm not hungry. Is what I learned. Yeah. yeah you know, I woke up um at 9 a.m. for me. Uh, I've been here for three hours, so it's almost lunchtime, and now I don't have to eat lunch because I'm not hungry. Yeah, you're fine. <laughs> yep. Mm-hmm. Um, These terrible readings uh, sustain me. <laughs> uh, no, that was, a, that was a nice little mix of I things. I learned that uh, Instructables has a lot more content than I thought. I really thought it was just for like learning how to hack a, a VCR into a, a zip gun or something, but it turns out I can learn how to dress my child. Um, well, I well think, Adam, if you wanted to turn a VCR into ZipCon, you could have just asked me. I think uh, I know. I know. Any any site that allows a uh, a person to try to be helpful will uh, will immediately get filled with this sort of stuff. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It, it's full of the people who normally don't get asked for help with things in real life. So. <laughs> I mean, you know, I don't know if it's just the the selection we had, but these people didn't seem to have as much agenda as some of the other uh, yeah. you know, true. helpful sites. Yeah, there, at no to. point did they say, are you sure you really want to make up your face with steampunk? Yeah. <laughs> well, it might be because um, it's the, like the voice is unified because you can't have contributors. Like Nobody can come in after you've made your how to Correct, and yeah. mess it up. That's true. All right, we're going to take a short break, and uh, we're going to be back with a, uh, a very special hour with uh, Adam Bozarth. Ooh. Oh, yes, I have a big surprise. And uh, Positronic, <laughs> Positronic, are you going to stick around with us? Yeah. Probably we'll wait for her to draw yes or no on the screen. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and then have it come through the stream. And then chicken chicken on lettuce right now. Oh, okay. Yes. 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 Okay. She said yes. That is awesome. A All, right. Yes. All right, we're taking a short break, and we'll be back soon. And I'm outie. All right. Bye. 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 B